Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlifegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about properties. Now, what properties do is it's a way of encapsulating data within a class. Now, let's say you have a, a variable that's declared private and it's in a, another class and you cannot access it. What you can do is you can use a property to get that variable and see what it is without directly accessing the data. Now what this does is, let's say you make a property, you've got a variable, you don't want to change that variable but you want to access it indirectly and have it stored in that property. You can create a property, get the variable, and then if you want to you can set the variable um, using that same property. So here is the program that we worked on in the last tutorial. Now I, you can see I've changed it a bit here. Um, go ahead and open your toolbox and add a date time picker right here. Drag that over there and drag a label. Set the label text to state not initialized and set the name to label state as you can see right here. Set the date time picker name to date time picker hour or DTP hour and set the format to time. And you can go ahead and resize it some if you want. And here is that enumeration that we created last time. I added some stuff to it. We've got a sleep, waking up, school, lunch, home, and programming. So we'll go ahead and just create a variable of the data type day action. So private state as day action. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create our property. So we're going to do this by using either the public or private keyword at first. We're going to use private. So we'll type private and then the keyword property. And then we have to have a name for it. So we'll just call it hour. And you use empty parameters. And you're going to have to specify a data type for it. So we'll just make it an integer. And if you go ahead and press enter, um, and type end property. Okay, so now what we need to do is use what's called a a get statement. So the way we do this is we start by typing get. And you can see when we press enter we get an end get and you can see it adds a set um, function for us. Now properties are similar to classes even though I haven't taught you those yet um, but they're a lot more efficient. You can't do as much, but they're more efficient. And when you want, when you can use them, use those instead of classes. Um, you'll understand more when we get into classes. Okay, but with a get, what we're going to do is we're going to get a variable. So we're just going to get the current hour that is displayed on this date time picker. So what we do is we type return DTP hour, then you type dot and then you type value and it says get to set the date time value assigned to the control dot hour so what this is going to do is it's just going to get the current hour that is um, displayed on the date time picker now we could use when we use return it sets property hour equal to um, the hour that is on selected on DTP hour we could also type instead of return we could type hour equals DTP hour dot value dot hour. So we'll just go ahead and put return. And now what we're going to do is we have to create a set function. You can see it's already created for us. And we've got by val value as integer. So whenever somebody calls set, they're going to have to give it a value. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the date using the hour passed to this property. So if they give us an hour, we're going to set um, that hour. So we'll just go ahead and type DTP hour dot value. So what this is going to do is it's going to set the value of DTP hour. And we're just going to set that equal to, and this is a little introduction to um, date and time functions that are built into Visual Basic. We'll go more into depth, more in depth with those later. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and create uh, a couple little things with it. So we'll type new 
date, and you can see it says represents an instant in time, typically expressed as a date and time of day. So date is going to take several arguments. So first we're going to set the year. So to get the current year, we're just going to go ahead and type now. And what now is, is it's return to date value containing the current date and time according to your system. So whatever their system says, it's going to get the year for that. So now dot year. So now what we can do is we can get the month. So we'll type now dot month. And you can see right here that it's giving us a new date and we have three arguments for this year, month, and day. And we're going to be using a little bit more than that. So now we can set the day. So we'll type now dot day which will give us the um, the day of the week or not the day of the week the day in the month so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the current hour and you real you remember that they passed value to the set function so we're just gonna go ahead and put value here which is the hour as an integer and we'll set the minute equal to zero and the second equal to zero also so we created a property we got the current hour that is being displayed on the uh, date time picker then we have a set function that will set the date time picker hour to the specific value that we pass to it so um, properties uh, are a lot more confusing than enumerations as I said enumerations might be a little confusing to you in the last tutorial but um, We'll talk more about these in the next tutorial. And um, so if you don't understand this, don't practice it yet. Um, you will understand it gradually as we go along. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.